What's up guys, this is our reviews. In this video we're gonna show you the part 2 of the top 10 free CD tweaks for 2015. The first tweak we're gonna show you it's called Barry C8. This tweak allows you to launch apps directly from your lock screen. You can see right here instead of the slide on lock text we have these icons and I can open one of these apps simply by dragging it down here. Now if we go to settings, here we have an enable button for this tweak then we have app shortcuts. Here you can choose which apps you want to see on your lock screen, then you can enable auto unlock right here, then we have appearance. You can change the icon size, choose how many apps you want to see per page, enable badges and also if you want to change the transparency of those icons, you can do it with the slider right here. Next up is a tweak called return. This tweak adds your most recent used apps on your control center. You can see right here if I open the control center I have my recently used apps right here and if I want to open one of them all I have to do is just click it or I can clear the recent used apps simply by tapping the, the X button right here then tapping clear. Now if we go to settings we have an enable button right here then here you have different stuff that you can customize for this tweak. You can choose to show icon labels, save icons through respring and then here you have a card view. You can enable a card view instead of the icons. You will see a snapshot of the apps. Then you have here scroll direction. You have vertical or horizontal and then you have number of icons to display and total number of rows. You can choose how many icons you want to have as your recent apps on your control center. Lower here you can set the control center corner radius and also the animation duration with these sliders right here. Now to install this tweak you will need to add a repo which you can find in the description. Next up is Lumos. Lumos is a tweak which will add a flash icon on your lock screen so you can easily go ahead and turn on or off your flashlight without needing to open your control center. You can see right here on the lock screen here on the left side we have this icon. And I can go ahead and tap here and it will turn on or off the flashlight. Now if we go to settings here we have some options for this tweak. You have an enable button right here then we have configuration. Here you have two different icons which you can choose from. To do that you just go here and you have style 1 and style 2. Now if we go back here you can change the position of that icon and also the transparency of the icon with the slider right here. The next tweak we're gonna show you it's called CC Loader. This tweak allows you to rearrange the sections of your control center. You can also enable or disable any of them. To do that you need to go to your settings. Here you have CC Loader, you have enable sections and disable sections. Now to disable a section you just drag it down here. To enable one you just drag it up here. You can also rearrange them simply by dragging them like this and then down here you have dynamic media controls. If you enable it, it will show the media controls only when you have media playing on your phone. When you don't have any media playing, it will remove them and now you will have just a clean looking control center. Next up is Grabber App 8. This tweak allows you to replace the camera button on your lock screen. You can replace it with any other application and also add a second application on the left side of your lock screen so you can have two grabbers on your lock screen that will launch two apps that you choose. You can see right here if I go to my lock screen I still have the camera right here and on this left side I have Cydia. Now I have changed the camera to the calculator and you can see if I open it it will launch calculator. Now to, if we go to settings here we have an enable button for the camera grabber you enable it right here. Then you go to cam grabber application and you choose whichever application you want. You have the same here for the left grabber and then a respring button. You will spring your device right here and all these changes will take effect. Next up is a tweak called spring sounds. This tweak will allow you to change the UI sounds of your iOS 8 device. You can see right here if I go to type something. You can hear the sound of my keyboard. It's way more different and the shooter sound when I take a picture is also way more different. Now to do that you need to go to your settings, go to spring sounds, here you have sounds included. You go here then you have all these sounds that you can customize. 
If you want to customize one, you just go here to select sound. Let's go to the keyboard. And here you can choose any sound you want. If you go back, you can play that sound. And then hit here, apply changes and respring. It will respring your device and all the changes will take effect. Next up, we have status bar weather 8. You can see right here on my status bar, I have the normal clock that you have on your iOS 8 device. But on the right side of the clock, I have the weather of my city on my status bar. That's very cool. And to do that, all you have to do is install status bar weather 8. Go to your settings, go to status bar weather 8, enable it right here. Then here you can set the weather update interval with the slider right here. Then here you can enable show temperature unit. Then here you can enable show weather icon. You can also replace your carrier logo with this tweak, just enable it right here. Then you have a respring button right here. You have to respring your device and all these changes will take effect. Next up we have a tweak called Calypso. This tweak allows you to customize different stuff on your iOS 8 device. Now the first thing we have here is an enable button. Then we have Twitter settings. You can see block tweets and also have new tweets banner. Lower here you can disable the page dots. Then you can enable the landscape mode for your home screen and also for your lock screen. You can see right here it will enable the landscape mode for your home screen and lock screen. Very cool. Now if we go back, you can also disable the voice control. You can do the same with the spotlight search. And you can disable also the lock screen blur and tint with the switches right here. Lower here you have folder settings. You have nested folders, which means that it will allow you to create new folders inside of a folder. Then you have pinch to close folders. Then you have icon settings. Never show beta dot. And also you can remove the icon labels. Lower here you can enable faster animations for your device and also use the old CC bounce. Then here you have a respring button. You need to respring your device right here for all these changes to take effect. The next week for this video it's called Full Switch. Full Switch enables a full screen app switcher for your iOS 8 device. You can see if I ta double tap on the home screen you can see these arrows right here that indicate where we can slide to go to the next app and you can see here we have a full screen app switcher. Here we have the home screen card then we have the apps that we have running in the background. Now to open one of them of course you just click it and now if we go to the settings of full switch we have an enable button right here then we have the multitasking indicators those arrows you can enable them right here and customize them change their location with these two sliders right here. Then you have home screen menu if you enable this and then you slide on the home card right here it will show you this menu where you can reboot, respring and also close all apps with just one click. Now if we go back to the settings of this week we have privacy mode if you enable this it will blur the screenshots of your apps so that, so that no one sees what you have on your apps when you're sliding through them. And then down here you have a reset button you click it right there to reset all the settings of this tweak to their default. And the last tweak for this video it's called clear folders. This is a simple tweak. What it does is that it will remove the background from your folders. And now you will have these clean looking folders with no background. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure. All you have to do is install it. So these are the top 10 free CD tweaks for 2015. The part 2. I hope you guys enjoyed them. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.